When you venture past the event horizon, what you see is quite surprising. It's me, the skinny man is singing a song by my favorite sausage magnate, Jimmy Dean. This is Big John. Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of brawn at the shoulder and there at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Nobody seemed to know where John, where John called home. He just drifted into town and stayed all alone. D didn't say much, kind of quiet and shy. And if you spoke at all, you just said hi to Big John. Somebody said he came from New Orleans where he got in a fight over a Cajun queen and a crashing blow from his big right hand sent a Louisiana fella to the promised land, Big John. Big John, Big Bad John. Then came the day, a day at the bottom of the mine when a timber cracked and men started crying. Miners were praying and their hearts beating fast, and everybody thought that they'd breathe their last except John. Through the dust and the smoke of this man-made hell walked a giant of a man that the miners knew well. Grabbed a sack of timber and gave it with a groan like a giant oak tree. He just stood there alone, Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. And with all of his strength, he gave a mighty shove, and a miner yelled, There's a light up above! And twenty men scrambled from a would-be grave. Now there's only one left down there to save, and it's John. With jacks and timbers, they started back down. Then came that rumble ray down in the ground, and the smoke and gas belched out of that hole. And everybody knew it was the end of the line for Big John. Big Bad John. Now they ever reopened that worthless pit, they just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words are written on that stand. At the bottom of this mine lies a big, big man. Big John. Big John. Big Bad John. Big Bad John. A testament to the selflessness of others and standing up for your fellow workers. Workers Unite.